Okay, this is Michael Branton Smith. I'm um, going to be doing a tutorial for the DS106 group that uh, uh, wants to know how to make a MacGuffin if they haven't been able to make a MacGuffin or messing with the MacGuffin uh, assignment by taking a screen grab and, and, and adding some text to it so you change the, the story of, the, of, 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 of a movie's plot in one moment. I'm going to work with MPEG Stream Clip and GIMP to do this, um, and I have open here Cool Hand Luke, and what we're about to see is that one of the pivotal moments in Cool Hand Luke is um, he, he finds out his mother's dies, and, 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 and this is the response from the, the, the warden. When a man's mother dies, and uh, he gets to thinking about her funeral and paying respects, before he knows it, his mind ain't right. So he thinks his mind ain't right, and what's typical is what he does is he shoves him in the box. And that's the box, and poor Luke's got to go in the box uh, until his mother's buried. And so what I want to do is, is take this image, and, and after she's, uh, they let him out of the box, from that moment forward, basically Cool Hand Luke's whole uh, interest is in trying to escape. So if you've never been put in a box, that could be a MacGuffin moment, but I'm, I'm just going to mess with uh, his attitude as he gets out of the box. Balls on the ground now. God rest his soul. So I like this shot, and I'm gonna have Luke uh, give a comment back to that last quote from the uh, one of the bosses. And we're gonna export this frame, all right? And we're just gonna say, for more, for, for no other purpose, just we're gonna say uh, JPEG, and it's okay. We can make it a higher quality. And we'll just say, uh, cool hand, Luke leaves the box. All right, and so I'm done with MPEG Stream Clip. And now I'm going to move on to uh, GIMP, and I'm going to open this file. And once I've opened it, what I need to do is I'm going to have to work with a uh, text editor. Um, but what I've been doing for these is I've been making uh, a little uh, space in the bottom to black out a space for text. Um, so what I'm going to use is the uh, one of the selection tools, the rectangle selection tool. And I'm going to select this area at the bottom. And then... Once I have this area, it doesn't matter if the selection goes over the edge here. But once I have that filled, I'm going to go to Edit, Fill with um, Foreground Color, which actually I need to change first. Let's start over. And once I have the selection, it doesn't matter if they're, uh, it's a little bit uh, over the edge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Edit menu and say, fill with foreground color and now I have this black space and now I can go to this little text tool um, and I can switch, I'm going to switch this so that my text is white using this uh, color pickle. You have a foreground color and a background color and so I've made the foreground color white which will make the text white. And I'm going to say uh, thanks boss with all that rest in the box, I'm ready to get back on the work gang. All right. And I'm going to have to resize this. So using the text uh, size editor here, I could resize this. And um, I might want to add a return here because it's a little small. I'll do it right here. All right, make this a little bit bigger. I can see how that's looking. And that's pretty good. I can close that. 
and I can move it around a little bit, center it up. And then basically I can uh, do a save as as a JPEG. To there and I now have um, this JPEG and you can just uh, follow the options and say uh, save you don't need to make any changes you leave it a nice high quality and now we have our simple JPEG that's it this is Michael Branson Smith this is how you can work with GIMP and MPEG screen clip to make your first uh, MacGuffin